Okay, I wanted to do a short add-on to the last video where I was showing you how to find the spatial resonance of a coil. Here I have this pristine coil I was using as my L1 or my demonstration coil. Here I have it connected to an earth ground. You can see that's the ground connection on that power supply which goes back into the service via the three-prong plug. And what I've done here is this is my sense probe off of my spectrum analyzer. And as I move it away from that coil, I got it too close. You see it's pretty clean. This is normal background noise. Here's the FM band. My span is 100. And my center frequency is 50. Anyway, I'll put the marker on it. So let me go ahead and put this probe now back into the coil because I want you to see what happens here in the activity that's actually taking place in that coil. So you're going to see something interesting here in that see this bit of energy present right here. Let me go ahead and move the marker down to it. And you're going to see that that comes out to about 23.8 now because we're working in such a small area I could expand this out and get that more precisely set on there and we'd probably find our our 24.8 very easily which is the actual resonant frequency of this coil but you see we have a fairly wide band there if I go over here we're at 22.5 over to this side Yes, I can increase the sensitivity, but this demonstrates at 25.5. So this is coming off of this ground connection and exciting that coil. Now you could, you could logically say, well, this is just signal being picked up from something that's coming in its length of wire or in the ground system, and that's quite true. It could be. But when you consider that everything is fairly well shielded throughout the lab and the frequency that we're talking about, I rather doubt that that's what's happening. And isn't it strange that ha that happens to be the spatial resonant frequency of this coil? That's exactly where the coil wants to oscillate, as we found with the generator when we tested it. So the information appears to be that there's enough random noise coming up this ground connection that it will excite that coil into resonance at its spatial frequency. 